Hi, this is Jonathan with Fishing with Faith Outdoors. I'm glad y'all tuned back in today. And uh, today I'm gonna go over a bait that I, uh, despite the price that I've come to love and and, and fell in love, uh, basically fell in love with. Um, so y'all just stay tuned and we go over it. All right, thanks everyone for tuning back in. Y'all please like and subscribe to the channel. Share with all your friends and family. I'll really greatly appreciate the support. All right, so what's the bait? All right, well, everybody knows the wacky rig, okay? There's, uh, there's, I don't know, I guess you can say there's hundreds of wacky rig or stick style baits that you can use. And uh, I tell you the one that's truly, that's truly the famous, and that's Mr. Gary Yanomoto. All right, <clears throat> and um, this stick bait has is, is probably caught more fish than any stick bait that's probably been um, designed, okay, simply because the uh, unique action this thing has, and I'm just going to show y'all a trick on why it has this unique action, and I'm, I don't take the credit for this. I actually got this from Tactical Bassin, and <clears throat> after examining the bait and putting it uh, on the way that they're talking about, knockout, man. I'm telling you, just knockout. Okay, these baits run somewhere between seven, seven and a half a pack. You can get them on sale right now at, at Tackle Warehouse with five and some change. Okay, so that's five dollars and some change at Tackle Warehouse right now. I don't know how long that sale is going to last. I know it's been up, I think, since December. Okay, but I don't know if, if, it's, if they ended it already or they're about to end it, but you need to go check that out and I'll leave a link in the description um, if they're still on sale. If not, I'll still leave the link. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. So, all right, so I know at Walmart you can get these baits. Um, they're not in this packaging. It's a different packaging. It's like a newer update, but um, there's not as many baits in there. I think there's five. And you can get that pack of baits for five dollars. No, that's four dollars and thirty-three cent. If I ain't mistaken, I'll take my word on that. But I know it's a little over four dollars. Okay, and um, so I don't know why. I don't know the deal with those because Walmart just started carrying that stuff here in Macon, where I live. And uh, but it's worth a try. And I and they and I can't really tell the difference in the design, other than they may have put a little less salt in it. Than the original. All right, let's talk about this right here. All right, you see this stick bait, okay? All right, you see it that way? See how it's straight across there? All right, I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. You see the tail? You see that tail? See how it slants down right there and it's straight on the bottom? Okay. It slants down on one side of the bait than it does on the bottom. All right, with that being said, just like I have it, that slant here, okay, pointed down, rig it that way. And I'm telling you that this bait goes down in the water doing just this, perfect, every time. Sometimes it does this. I don't know if when you, just the weight or maybe you're not have it completely center, but five out of, I'll say, I'll say at least seven out of 10 times this bait consistently falls and does this down through the water. And um, it gets bit. I'm not no professional with it, but just using this bait has made me believe and just eyes on that this bait has phenomenal action and it just plain works. I've had, I have the young baits. I have the, um, what is the young dinger? I have the Strike King Ocho here, and none of them have the action like this does. And I'm gonna leave a link of a video by Steve Rogers showing you some stuff you can do to these other baits that don't have a lot of action to them on weightless. And you can put a little weight on them and they will have some action to them. And you can put just the smallest weight on there. Like for example, I have one here. Those, those baits that don't have a lot of action, like this bait does, it falls through the water, you can get a weighted wacky hook, like that right there. 
okay? I think this is a one eighth, but you can get it one sixteenth. Just a little bit of weight, pull it through water, makes it have some action. You can do that to the baits if you don't want to purchase these. These are a little expensive, um, but I'm just gonna show you something that you may already seen that gives this bait a big time life, okay? And uh, I'll show you this in just a second. Y'all just hold tight. All right, so check this out. All right, so this is the worm that I used the other a few days ago. I went fishing at a little farm pond, and I tied this bait on. The uh, matter of fact, it was this one right here. It's the peanut butter and jelly. Gary Yonamolo stick bait. It's peanut butter and jelly. That's an awesome color right there, ain't it? Okay, if y'all can see that. Mm -hmm. So I tied this bait on and throw it out there. A little bit of windy day, but I just want to see what it'll do. And I'm telling you what, man, it got munched. And uh, I'm going to leave these fish catches at the end of the video, show you what I was doing and whatnot. Okay, so the biggest thing with this is how I rigged it and just absolutely, I got, I got, I think I caught around eight bass. One got off, one. And he was just a little munchkin, so he probably didn't get it all wet in his mouth, but the rest of them were probably right at a pound. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so that's how I got it rigged. See that? Okay. That's how I got it rigged. This is a, a weedless wacky hook. Okay. I think this is a trocar, but I usually buy the VMC uh, Nico weedless Nico hooks. They work just as good. Okay. All right, and I got another style. It's more of an open hook. I forgot what this one is, but it's a wacky hook. It's like, you know, a real small circle type deal. And uh, I haven't, tr I, I haven't tried it yet. I bought them. I was gonna try them. I just ain't done it yet. But all right, so you see that ring on there? That's a VMC crossover ring. All right, and I don't know if y'all can see that, but this is the original bait. You see how tore up it is? I caught nearly, I caught seven fish or almost eight fish on this bait or eight fish bit this bait and I got them to the bank. Seven of them I landed, one of them I lost. Still on there. You know how soft these things are, okay? These things are extremely soft. Now, you know, see, see it's ripped up right there? I'll get over here. All right. See, it ain't taking a whole lot to rip that bait up. This is an old bait, I just want to replace it anyway. So I just want to show y'all, okay? It doesn't take a whole lot to rip that bait up. All right, so what is this VMC crossover ring? This is actually a little small. I should have got a size seven. This is a size five. I think a size seven is what you want. You can get the size five or size six for smaller worms. They got four or five there. They got, I think they got all, they got like uh, six sizes, I think. But you see it, okay, and it's got this little, I know y'all can't see that, and I've showed this in the past, but it's got this little tab right here, okay? All right, so you can hook that tab this way with the worms long ways this way, or you can hook it this way with the hooks in line with the bait like you do a Nico rig, so that's what it's designed for, all right? And with that being said, you can get the VMC crossover pliers, and I'm going to tell you, them pliers are a little pricey. Um, so they're $15 for the pliers, okay? But I'm going to show y'all a trick on how to do that without buying those pliers. Let me grab mine, I'll be right back. Okay, so you don't have to have fishing pliers, the, uh, the traditional fishing pliers to do this. You can have you know, your regular needle nose pliers. These are a little big and get a smaller pair. The ends of them will be smaller. But you take your needle nose pliers. Whoop, I dropped that one. I'll get it in a minute. You get your needle nose pliers, you slide that ring. Okay, on your needle nose pliers. All right, and you open it up like that, okay? All right, and then you got your bait. And I stick it tail first because it'll go through easier. All right, you stick it in there like so. Then, all right, pop the. Like I said, these rings are a little tight. 
And these baits got some oil on them, some bait oil on them. All right, and you just slide it down or, there you go. And just slide it down where you want it. See, okay. And then you want this tab, you find your, your wedge on your, on your worm. See, there it is right there. All right, see how it's going down? All right, I want my tab to be facing pretty dang close to where that wedge is facing up. I think I need to roll it just a little bit. All right, somewhere right in there, okay? All right, like I said, this was a, this was a, not, like I said, this is ain't credit for me. This is credit to Tackle Bassin for pointing it out. This is the only other, it's the only person I've heard that talked about it. Uh, I know Randy Blockett, he does a lot of tips and tricks on stuff like this. He may have pointed it out. I may have missed that video somewhere along the line, but Tactical Bassin is the credit to that. And I'm telling you, it does make a difference. It did make a difference. And this thing did come down through the water due to that this flat part here catching the water better give it more action okay all right gave it gave it action it needed so uh maybe that's something you can uh, be looking out for when you buy these baits uh, i don't think strike king has that deal on theirs no i don't see it in theirs i don't think yum neither so it's just a unique design that gary automoto's got and i'll show you real quick all right so you got your tab you can hook it this way okay you can hook it that way in that or you can do it like this i like doing it like this because i think it gets a better um hookup ratio okay and i'll leave all this stuff in the description and uh so y'all can go on there tackle warehouse and check it out i'm not sponsored by tackle warehouse i don't get any kicks by them but it's just an easy place to buy gear and they got exactly what you need so there you go there's your wacky rig and try to get it balanced it'll fall um it'll fall in the water more um, um consistent if you get it balanced and that's about right right there okay and then the weight is even on both sides okay so there you go the wacky rig tip there um you can get you you can use the rings you can cross the rings, put two of them side by side on your bait. And what you do, you hook one, go over and hook back into the other one. Basically make an X and you want hook wants to be in the center of that X on your O-rings, if that makes sense. You can do that if you don't want to buy the crossover rings. Um, crossover rings are a little bit more expensive than the, than the O, than the O-rings. So like I say, you can crawl put two pies side by side and, and make them make an x okay and in the, in the center of that x put your hook so I, you have to hook one go over and go back through if that makes sense so um i think a lot of you will understand what i'm saying on that uh so anyway that's how you do that deal you can make you some homemade deals i made this out of a marker uh i um sharpie deal it works okay i had to put a screw in the end of it but wacky tube i got you can get two of these the uh, h h2o express brand academy you can get two of these for five bucks where uh the metal one is 5.99 just for one so a little tip on that deal all right um so that's that's it um on that deal and uh so i just want to show y'all those all right, so thank y'all for watching again, and I'm fixing to post these fish catches. I hope y'all enjoy them. God bless. We'll see y'all in the next one.